to all my bitches and bitches, this is the Iboro self isolation report. I know I said the last one was the last one, but this is the actual last one. Every time I think I'm out, they pull me back in. Actually, people have been asking for it. Shout out to my five fans. <laughs> um, yeah, there's. I think every only thing to talk about is the fucking coronavirus, man. Um, Lagos is. We're entering our third, that be our fourth week of lockdown. They extended the lockdown, which is why I'm still back doing this shit. Although, if you follow me on social media, you know I've been going out because I don't give a fuck, man. I mean lawless ass motherfucker rebel <laughs> fucking law actually the reason why you have to go out is because there's nothing to do inside and there's no money inside and i believe i can't be the only person self-isolating when every fucking person around me is coming outside every fucking day <laughs> so like who the fuck am i deceiving man if we're all going to die we're going to die together squad and most people can't stay inside because there's no money like if you were in a functioning country a functioning society nigeria would be given stipends and then they can force you to stay inside but <laughs> nigerians first of all they said they're not going to give you money if you have 5k in your account and if you load up to if you load more than 100 now if you load 200 now, i can't remember the money they said on your phone so just think about this mathematics <laughs> So if you have 4,900 Naira, they're going to give you 20,000 Naira. But if you have 5,000 or 5,100 Naira, they're going to be left by your government to starve and die. And if you have loaded credit of 300 Naira, you're also going to be left by your government to starve, which is fucking amazing. So I'm not surprised Nigerians are all over the road. There's even hold up. Like on my way here, I saw hold up. So. Fuck it, man. We're going to die. We're going to go out like, like fucking gangsters, man. And I don't know. It depends on where you're staying in Lagos. I think there's started. There's like little unrest going on because of a gang of real niggas. <laughs> I'm calling them real niggas in case they are watching this so that they don't kill me. My name is Iboro, and I have cornrows. I made it tape called court. In case you are robbing anywhere, you see me. I'm talking, of course, about the one million boys. In case you guys are, in case you guys are rubbing and you see me, I'm a big fan. I love your work. Keep doing, keep doing what you do. Just leave me the fuck alone, man. Do you know what I want to know? Is is it like is there like a roster of one million boys? Is it every night? Do they <laughs> do they have to count all of them? And when do we stop calling them one million boys? Supposing they get fifty new members, are we still calling them one million boys? Supposing they kill fifty of them, not like they could ever kill you, wonderful gentlemen. You guys are great. Keep doing what you do. But yeah, they have been... I don't actually think they have been terrorizing Lagos, but there have been rumors of them terrorizing Lagos. And I say that because I've been in a place where they claim they were terrorizing them and terrorizing us and shooting us and nothing was fucking happening. Except some... ignorant niggas doing ignorant nigger shit. That's all I'm going to say about that. Uh, what else is happening in our fucking country? Man? That's basically it, man. We're all going to die. Or not all of us are going to die. If you... Like, you know, I'm a fucking genius and a very smart person, one of the smartest and most informed <laughs> people in the fucking world. But I was reading on, like, past pandemics and shit, and it doesn't seem like it's something that goes away very quickly. And it seems like when people try to act like it goes away very quickly, there is what is famously known as the second wave. So it seems like we're going to be in this shit for a very, very long haul. And although there's something that's... Like, I have good news for you guys if you can take it as good news. They said, according to the, my extensive and very, very foolproof research, they said if you, if you catch, the, if you, like you, according to the reports from the Spanish flu in 1918, 1919, 1920, the people that caught the first wave became immune to the second and third wave. So my advice to all of you out there is go out. Go out into the world, catch all the corona you can. Don't let anybody tell you you can't catch corona. Don't let anybody try to dictate your fucking life. <laughs> yes, so I'm telling you, you can survive the shit. Anyway, I think that's mostly it. There's something I should be talking about, but I think I've forgotten. And if I've forgotten, it's not that important. Also, okay, first of all, though, before I go, 
the numbers in Nigeria are rising as rising very very quickly. Like the last time I checked, it was seven hundred and something, and Lagos was like four hundred and something. I think Lagos means Lagos has more than half of the cases in Nigeria. Lagos is also the smallest state in Nigeria, which is also the most populated state in Nigeria. And do you know how Lagos have responded to the news of our cases increasing? We we came out more. <laughs> There are a lot more people in the street, which is lovely. But like I said, if you catch it down, you're most likely not going to die in the second and third waves. And you can watch all your loved ones die, all the people you love, your girlfriend who you're tired of, she can die. And you can get out of the relationship. Your parents are always disturbing you to get married. You can fucking die and you don't have to get married. It's going to be great, man. Just be all, just don't fucking be a bitch nigga and die, man. That's all. Thank you all for watching my shit. I'm going to keep risking my life to, to bring y'all good internet content. Um, fuck it. Yo. Let's see.